Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So we're on a little day trip today. We've come to Oxford and we've never been here before. Well, you have once. Ah, uh, yes, many years ago, I came down by mega bus <laughs> uh, from Newcastle to do a audition, and then I went straight back you that went straight afternoon. Back. So you didn't see any sights. Uh, no, I saw like the architecture was incredible. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't have a chance to explore. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you because I put a little shout out on my Instagram asking for ideas, and everyone like pulled together and there were so many great ideas we're definitely gonna have to do another trip because there was so many ideas that i couldn't fit them all into like one day um but i've put together a little itinerary helena's been planning i have um so i put together a little itinerary and i'm hoping that it'll be a really lovely day it's great. we'll bring you along and if you wanted to you could copy our itinerary if you're looking for like a day trip to do in oxford um, but yeah we'll show you what we're up to we sat down last night you talked me through the itinerary yeah so i just had to turn up which is good <laughs> so first things first is that you can't really park in oxford city center it's very difficult um so everyone advised to drive to a park and ride so we've um driven to redbridge park yes. and ride and then we're going to pick up the 300 bus to Oxford city centre. So once you park, you pay for your parking on the Ringo app. I think you can pay here, but yeah, yeah. we I just did it on the Ringo app and it was four pounds for one day, so. For the whole day. Yeah. And then I've downloaded the Oxford bus app and then you can buy your ticket. If you're a pair, they have a deal for five pounds for two people um, return to the city centre so we've done that so that's five pounds so for parking and our travel in and out it's come to nine pounds which mm. isn't too bad i feel like you'd pay a lot more if you were doing day parking um in the city centre mm. um, but i think it's really really difficult so i wouldn't advise driving in to the city centre um but yeah so that is the first little bit done so we're gonna go and jump on the bus and head into the city yes so we're on the bus and I literally just used this app, really easy, adult two to go, yeah. we're on our way. We're off the bus. We're in Oxford. We got off at Westgate, so we were meant to get off at the previous stop. I was meant to get off at Speedwell, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it's still only a 10 minute walk. And we're going to head to Christchurch first, which is probably the most, when I asked, it was the most suggested to visit. Yeah. Harry Potter filming locations, and it's just like Oxford. Yes. Lewis Carroll also taught there, I believe. Yeah. yeah, which I was just reading on the bus. Yeah, they got a Westgate shopping centre. The buildings have gone a bit oldy worldly, haven't mm -hmm. they? <laughs> What's great about Oxford is that you can walk, because it's quite a small area, so you can just walk everywhere. There's lots of museums as well here, and we're just coming up to one actually the Story Museum. Here is a story museum. Kaboom, the art of creating comics. From the 30th of May. <laughs> Here is. There's gonna be loads of Alice in Wonderland stuff around, isn't there? It looks really cool. This is a family friendly museum. Um, but we might, we might pop in if we have time. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? The P found it last. Princess and the Pea. Ah, right. <laughs> Got a telephone box. They've put stuff inside. Oh, these are those little toys, aren't they? Sabathian families. I used to have these. Not loads. Some people have, like, huge collections. <laughs> They're so cute. So we've arrived at the entrance to Christchurch, and it's just amazing. Pretty stunning. I think they've filmed loads here as well, haven't they? I mean, you could use this for so many sets. But we're a little bit early, so we're gonna head because there is an Alice in Wonderland shop just down here to the right. So if you're wanting to visit Christchurch, I'd highly recommend booking in advance because it already says sold out at the front. Um, so I booked the tickets yesterday and I think for our time slot, there was only five left. Um, so highly recommend booking in advance, especially if you're going at the weekend. So we're just going to head in and look in the Alice shop. Unfortunately, it says no photos. Yeah. Um, so but this is the, the outside. Camera. Yeah. <laughs> Helena's got something. I couldn't resist. They're so cute. These little Alice in Wonderland coasters. 
I just love the little sayings on them. Everyone wants a magical solution to their problem, but everyone refuses to believe in magic. We're all mad, you'll fit right in. Would you like an adventure or shall we have tea first? That's us. <laughs> and then it's always tea time. Yeah. They were three pounds each as well. Cute in there. Yeah, really It's just cute. this little diddy shop, isn't it? But yeah. it's it's got loads of amazing Alice in Wonderland stuff in. Look at that. Isn't that just that impressive? <laughs> they have all these gardens, which people are just walking into. So I feel like maybe the gardens, you can just walk in. Yeah, I think you can. It's, everyone's just going in. Yeah, but we're going to head up to the main entry uh, because we're going to go on our little self-guided tour. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you can actually film as you go around Christchurch, but we'll soon find out. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm hoping so because I want to get the Harry Potter locations. Um, yeah because when I was looking at the photos, I really did recognise them from the films. Yeah. And then another thing, uh, if you ever watched uh, Inspector Morse uh, TV series with John Thor, then that was all set in Oxford. <laughs> so it wasn't through that entrance. We've got to go to the visitor centre, which is through, through the, gardens. the gardens. So that's why everyone was going <laughs> through the gardens. <laughs> so this is the War Memorial Garden. It's absolutely stunning. So it is sold out now. So this is the visitor centre. <laughs> Modelling. Suited and booted. My self-guided tour. So we got the self-guide with the headphones. So you can, oh I think I've already, if you go to menu there's two tours you can do, the adult or the family. I'm actually tempted to do this only because I feel like it might be more about Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll mention it. They'll definitely they'll will. Will they? It in the adult one, okay, yeah. so you can do the adult. You could tour. probably switch between the two. Yeah, and then you start here, and then they should correspond There's with blue, places. Blue numbers or blue dots or something. Yeah. And so they correspond, but yeah. And I think it should take about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending how quick you are. That's quite a leap 45 minutes to an hour and a half. So, <laughs> people are quick, though. All right. Um, so, yeah, we've got to find number one to start. I think it's over there. I see. So, this is number one. Just outside here. Don't know if you can see, but it's got video as well. So, the beginning one was like a welcome, sort of enticing us as to what's going to happen. They're going to talk more about Lewis Carroll and Alice in Wonderland. Um, but they said that you can take photos as long as you're not uh, with a tripod. So, we think we can film, yeah. but you've got to be as quiet as possible. We'll do kind of a bit of a montage. We won't give it all away. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Come inside. So we just saw the famous Harry Potter stairs, which are used loads in the first Harry Potter film. So I'm going to insert the footage now. So we're in the Great Hall, which inspired the Great Hall in the Harry Potter films, and you can see just how much it inspired it. So everyone in the portraits has a link to Christchurch. And they're mostly men because, and I couldn't quite believe this, women weren't admitted to Christchurch until 1980. Well, that was very impressive. And then look, you've got these doors. Probably the oldest surviving student graffiti. <laughs> So on the picture, this is all like really green, but because it's been so sunny and hot recently, it's turned a bit this colour. But we need to listen. It's still beautiful. It is. <laughs> so it's called Quad, because it comes from Quadrangle, which is a space or a courtyard with buildings on all four sides. And apparently Cardinal Wolsey wanted this to have a covered walkway, but that didn't get done. You'll see Cardinal Wolsey everywhere, and his, I think his hat is still on like the crest. Um, but here he is, in statue form. And that's because he was the founder. It's pretty stunning everywhere you turn. <laughs> 
so this is Peck Water Quad where a lot of students live um, but I'll zoom in now because on the side they have these chalk writings which is all of their sporting achievements I'm not sure if you can see there but yeah they're all around and then you can see like 2019, 2022 football, mixed netball I think that says um, so yeah, they're all of their sporting achievements. We've now got to head to the exit. Oh, I really enjoyed that. It was really good. This was really good. Yeah. Because um, also it showed you videos as well. Root videos and also each bit wasn't too long. Mm -hmm. So like, it kept moving. It yeah. Good. Helena's planning has paid off so far. Really good. That was really good. Really, really highly recommend. Thank yeah. you to everyone that recommended it. Mm. It's just so stunning. And we think it took us an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Roughly. It was quite busy, <laughs> so there were times where we had to like wait or but yeah, about an hour and a half. Or I would just take things in, like we waited by the uh, stairs for quite a while, didn't yeah. we? Because we wanted to get a good picture. A good photo <laughs> and the Harry Potter, like all the Harry Potter bits. I probably spent a bit longer there, but that was a fan. Um, but yeah, I would map out about an hour and a half. But yeah, the history is uh, it's really intriguing. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I mean, if you study there, let us know. I don't know if any subscribers do. It's yeah, beautiful. it looks like it would be a really good place. Like the sort of social aspect yeah. of it as well looks really good. So the original entrance, we tried to go in at the beginning of the day. This is like, we were Tom's quad. We were in that centre bit. Because this is the entrance to the cathedral. So our next stop of the day is the Covered Market. It's about a five minute walk from Christchurch. Yeah. Really easy to find. by the Oxford Museum as well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have a little look. This, this does everything. So it does food and drink, services, health, fashion, produce, toys, sports, everything. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a little look and we're definitely going to get a drink and some food aren't we? We hope so. I also tried to book into here because they have a roof terrace with amazing views um, but it was fully booked because it's a Saturday and it's really busy um, but yeah we're just heading into the market now. Old Fiction. Coffee book to be a wine. <gasps> yum yum. <laughs> So we just found this print shop and for our gallery wall, we need to get that one. We never got it. The Which Newcastle shop? one. Oh yeah, there's one of Monument, yeah. In, um, when we went to Newcastle. Mm. We need to order that. But they do these They're sort of designs yeah. which are similar to the Newcastle one that we want. So we've just stopped off because we quickly saw a table at the Brothers Cafe, which is an authentic Greek uh, restaurant cafe. Although I'm getting a club sandwich. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's really cute. Oh, they uh, asked if you wanted egg with your avocado when I said that. 
Good choice. I don't like egg. So we just stopped off at Ben's Cookies. We got a white chocolate chunk and then a fruit nut and milk chocolate. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> good. It's like gooey and really soft. That was one of the best cookies I've ever had. And this is the... fruit nut and milk. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's crumbled. That is so good with the raisins. <laughs> So we've just come to the Mag, how'd you say it, Magdalene? Magdalene Bridge. Bridge Boat House. Yeah. Um, but with the queue is really long. I'll show you in a second. Um, so we think that we could be here a while. Uh, I did try to book, um, but I think I left it too late. I emailed them yesterday and they didn't get back to me. So I'm, I'm taking that as it was probably fully booked. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll show you where it is. And yeah, I would suggest emailing them in advance and letting them know if you do want to come and do it but we think we're gonna maybe head to the botanical gardens that might be full as well it's directly we'll opposite look. but we'll have a look and then if not we'll probably just head back into the centre and they've got loads of museums and there's loads to do so we'll do something else <laughs> so don't know if you can see um, but there is a queue all the way down here and then this is where you get on so as you can see, super, super busy today, but it is a Saturday in summer holidays. Um, but yeah, this is where you get on. It looks like there's a lot of punting. There's also, I can see someone sweeping, one of the crew members is sweeping out water from Oh the no, bottom, do you mean so they capsize? No, I, I don't know. I or just, do you just, you get like wet? water might get in the bottom. So. I think you can punt yourself or you can hire someone to do it for you. Um, they also have pedalos, which I can see just in the middle there. That's what we were after. That's what we were after, but there's, there looks like there's only one, so. The rest are out. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna head back and see what we can find. So that is the center of town. So we walk down this way, and then there's a little sign here. It says Magdalen Bridge, and then down there is where the queue starts. So we're just heading into the botanical gardens now. It is six pounds per adult. Was that right? Six per oh, seven. Oh, seven if you wanted to add gift aid. Oh yeah, with gift aid. Um, but we're just gonna see, A, if we can get in. Might be busy. It's a change to the plan, but it's a nice one. So we're here at the Oxford Botanic Garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Britain's oldest botanic garden. Founded in 1621. You can go in the greenhouse. I'm getting slight, um, what's that place in Cornwall called? Uh, the Eden Project. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something scuttling about. It's an animal. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> I don't think we'll find out though because... Unless we go in, <laughs> we will get stung. <laughs> so I think all these plants are to do with uh, modern medicine. Which is a herbal tea. And then this one here, an anti clotting drug. Pot marigold, currently used to make a cream for traditional herbal treatment of sore and rough skin. So the gardens, it's sort of just to the back wall there, and then goes all the way over to that side, and then you can walk along the river. Which we're gonna do now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we just found a bit of shade and now we're just watching the boats go by. Watching the world go by. <laughs> no one's fallen in yet, hopefully. 
That was so lovely. It was worth just paying just to come and sit and watch the river. <laughs> yeah. It's Definitely. also quite funny because it's quite busy today and let's just say some of this punting hasn't gone to plan <laughs> for a few people. <laughs> There's been a few funny <laughs> uh, collisions. Maybe we, we, we would have been a bit stressed had we done it. So maybe I said maybe it's a slight blessing in disguise because I feel like it could have been a bit stressful. And now there's people in the river, so I'm guessing they fell in. We love this part. It's like wild. Yeah, just keep walking along the it's river. Beautiful. The yeah. Are. So the river's here, and then uh, just here. So yeah, ignore what I said about where the uh, botanic gardens went up mm. to because we've just found this bit. <laughs> I like this bit it's a bit more wild and like yeah. overgrown. Wow. I think this is an apple tree. Got some pears. Walking down here with this wall, it's reminded me of York. Got a street here with the houses of many colours. So next on the list, we're trying to find the entrance to the new college. We're not sure if we can, if we can actually get in, but we're trying to find it. <laughs> so we found it. So it's eight pounds to go inside, but there's some locations Helena wants to see inside here. So we are inside, so it was eight pounds each. And then we're gonna go in first, so we've been given this. But then Helmer's got things loaded on her phone as well. <laughs> I've got the Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a look around all these sorts of things, but yeah, it says no photography is permitted inside the chapel or the hall. Oh, I'll pop this website in the um, description box. The new college, Clo Cloy? Cloisters. Cloisters? Um, Goblet of Fire. When Harry's looking for Cedric, this is also where Harry and Ron, Ron and Harry have a wee spat. Oh yeah, I think I know what one they mean. And this is what it's gonna look like. Oh. Does this look familiar to anyone? That's the tree. <laughs> We've been on a bit of a Harry Potter trail, haven't we? <laughs> Today. <laughs> so this is where they had all the Potter stink badges. <laughs> And then we can go out. <laughs> this is literally, wow. This is literally like you're stepping into the film. <laughs> So this is the tree where Draco Malfoy gets turned into a ferret. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you remember that scene. He actually climbs the tree in the scene, um, but they have a sign that says, do not climb this tree, because I feel like people were probably climbing it to reenact it. Hey, what lesson have you got next? Potions glass. Ah, uh, I've got muggle studies. <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like I'm a student at Hogwarts. <laughs> it's so cool. It cool. <laughs> Can you imagine just running through these halls with your bag <laughs> full of all your potions and wands? <laughs> what would you have? A cat, a rat, or an owl? Oh, be a cat. A cat? Yeah. I feel like I might have an owl. Let us know in the comments what you'd have. <laughs> So we just went in the uh, Great Hall, but you couldn't film inside there, but it was very similar. It's similar, it was like a smaller version of the Christchurch one. Yeah. But I just think it's mad that like all the students eat in these great grand halls, like it's amazing. It's yeah, cool. one of them said in one of the videos on like the device that we had, 
that it's so cool to eat with all that history around mm, them. Yeah. And like paintings on the wall and stuff. You must feel like <laughs> back in time or like a Hogwarts student. Yeah. So it looks like they've done the same as Christchurch. They've written um, chalk drawings of all their victories. So you've got women's 2016, 2018. <laughs> it's really cute. I like it. We're in the gardens and there's all these stairs. It's time for a rocky moment. Who's gonna make it? Yay! I let you win. Oh, the reward is you get, you to, get sit to sit down. on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> so it says it was intended as a viewing platform above the city wall, but but as you can tell, <laughs> there's not much of a view because um, there's a lot of a lot of trees. The flora has grown, but you know, a bit of exercise. I Add enjoyed. a few more steps to your step count. I enjoyed our little race. Rocky moment. So we don't have a ticket for the library, Bodleian Library, I want to say. I might have pronounced that wrong. Um, and the, there are a few more Harry Potter locations here. There is the hospital and the library scenes were filmed here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a little look at it from the outside because we don't have a ticket for today. It was all sold out. <laughs> I like a lot of places. I know. We came out there when they had the door closed. Yeah, we were lucky. We just got in. <laughs> just got into New College. So we think we'd have to get in in order to see those yeah, areas. You have, to, you have to not even get in, you have to book a tour. Oh, right. Um, you've got to book a 30 minute or a 60 minute tour. Uh -huh. and they, take, they take you to the mall. Ah, uh, okay. But all sold out. It's all right. Got to have things to come back and do. <laughs> so now where's next? Oh, my feet. Last stop of the day <laughs> is Radcliffe Square, which I believe is close, but I'm trying to work it out from maps. I keep going off in the wrong direction. <laughs> you'll probably shout it at me if you're from Oxford because I, I think it's literally here somewhere. <laughs> so we found it. It wasn't far at all. It was just behind. And so this is Radcliffe Square. It's like the heart of Oxford University. Very impressive. It is. And someone said, I just read on that plaque, the finest square in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's official. <laughs> As we walk around, there's lots of people in robes, so we're thinking maybe they're graduating. No there's lots idea. of champagne. <laughs> um, they're all getting photos in like different spots around Oxford. It's really nice. So Helner's wanted to go into this shop called Scriptum. It's like a stationery shop, but it's all a bit like um, vintage. Vintage and otherworldly. A selected stock of stationery and notebooks. That's such a cute little shop. It's tiny though, yeah. um, and it has a little upstairs, but it's really, really cute. It had like pen and ink. Yeah, also. magnifying glasses. Like it was like like you step back in time. So we just come up to the roof terrace at the west gate. Impressive views. 
This is actually reminded me of uh, when I was in Singapore, Sentosa Island, and there was a bit of like the shopping bit where you could look down and you saw the shops below. <laughs> so we came into the Curzon, is it Curzon? Or Curzon Cinema? Because it was a bit quieter. It's the quietest place. So I've got myself a, a brew dog, Lost Lager, and then... Got a mojito. Yeah. And then there's this view out over Oxford. <laughs> So we're on our way to Atomic Burger. What's it called? Atomic Burger? Atomic Burger. Now it is a bit out the way, so we're walking all the way back to Mag... To the, to the, to the Botanic Boat Garden. Ride. And the Botanic yeah. Gardens, and then we're carrying on. Um, so <laughs> if you do book this place, either get a taxi, or it's about a 20 minute walk from the city centre. Oh, I thought you said it was half an hour. It was it about half an hour from where we were? Half an hour. We're 25 minutes from where we were, yeah. but if you weren't up in the roof terrace of the shopping centre... Ah, okay. Minutes. We're crossing <laughs> over to the other side of the bridge. <laughs> We've not been over here yet. This is nice, right. don't you? Yeah. Um, There's a little white bridge. I'm from the northeast. I love a bridge. That's where we watch the people <laughs> hunting. Yeah, we were sat on the other side. It's actually a lot quieter now, so maybe... Do it Check in the what evening. Time it finishes <laughs> and do it in the evening. Apparently, welcome to the sunny side of Oxford. I feel like this is like it's outside of the town centre and it has like those independent Mmm. So we are here. Atomic Burger. This is so cool. There's just <laughs> toys of like loads of things that I know. You've got uh, Thunderbirds up here, <laughs> Spider-Man. Ninja Turtles, uh, the TARDIS is over here, oh I love it, <laughs> good find from Helmer. Transformers are over there, and then I live around the windows as well, it's all my favourite things, got Star Trek, Doctor Who, Marvel, <laughs> Star Wars, just can't get away from him, slinky dog! <laughs> And then I've noticed that like the counters made up of all these VHS videotapes as well. Winnie the Pooh is right above us. And I think, is he riding a motorbike? <laughs> I spy Paddington Bear. So I got some jumbo onion rings. My burger is called Johnny B. Bad. Mine's the Win Winfield, Winfred. <laughs> and I got sweet potato fries. And it was really quick. I loved it in there. If you're coming to Oxford, go to Atomic Burger. It was really fun. I loved it. And you get a nice lolly at the end. Not and a nice I, lolly, uh, and lollipop. <laughs> lollipop. <laughs> it was really cool. The food was good, but the theming in there just makes it. And they were really nice. It was really chill, casual. They offered you tap water. Mm -hmm. Loved it. There's a hot air balloon going. Now, we don't know if this is a mistake but we've decided to walk back to the park and ride. Because <laughs> it was it was about a 25 minute walk back to the bus stop, mm. but then the buses only came every half hour and we think we were just gonna miss one. So then we'd have to wait an hour, like in total with the walk. <laughs> and then the walk back to the park and ride is saying 35 minutes. So yeah, so it was the same distance. We thought, well... So we could do the distance, but just get back to get the... Get back quicker if yeah. we missed the bus. But yeah, so now we're just going on a little Google map adventure. <laughs> we're seeing all of the surrounding areas of Oxford. <laughs> it's nice so far. Yeah. Oh, look at that sky. Beautiful. Yay, it looks like we're just coming up to it. And we just saw the bus that we were aiming to get if we did walk back. Yeah. But we think we probably would have missed it. <laughs> we would have missed it. And even if we had got it, we arrived at the same time. Yeah. It was about, with us walking, we walk a bit faster than the map, so about half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it back to the car. We did. Uh, we are tired and our legs are aching. But what was, was our uh, step count? Uh, I was just going to say it was an extremely uh, good plan yes. that you put in place and uh, we managed you. to get well pretty much everything done. Or if we didn't get it done, we like substituted it. Yeah. And 
we saw it anyway so yeah. <laughs> it was a jam-packed day i would i'd probably recommend everything we did the only thing i would change is maybe the order only because we walked back on ourselves mm. a couple of times so if you're gonna go do the botanic gardens or the boat ride i would then go to atomic burger yeah. because they're a lot closer as we walked, we walked back. back to the city center <laughs> and then all the way back to yeah. atomic burger so that's what i would change we did um, but it was all amazing we did well twenty one thousand eight hundred eighty two at the moment we're gonna go home and rest have a cup of tea and yeah i'm gonna have a little look through all the photos as well <laughs> um, but i hope you enjoyed this little oxford day out yeah. hopefully we can do a few more of these uk I, day trips i love exploring yeah places. And we haven't had a day off together in a while, no. so it was really nice to like go on an adventure, wasn't it, together? Mm -hmm. But we will leave this one here, and we will see you in our next video. Yes, if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Toodle, pipski! I'll be alive.